Good day, Dino friend, and well, oh, welcome to another video. So, I'm just recording all of these videos at the same time. I don't know why. I'm just trying out something new. Just recording a bunch of videos. Apparently, someone has joined my private server. I don't know. I'm just going to keep talking. So, in the last two videos, we talked about the problems that I think Build a Boat for Treasure has with for new players and sort of medium players you know so new players are people who only just did a tutorial and never made it to the end or maybe once medium players or average players whatever you want to say people who made it to the end maybe a few times they might have a few thousand gold they might have some of the tools maybe almost all of them they know kind of what how the game works and they've played it maybe a few dozen of hours um, in this video, I want to talk about problems for people who talk, who play this game all the time. You know, probably, probably some of you guys and also me. We play this game so much that it's more than just a few dozen times that we've, uh, hours that we've played this game. We have so much time in this game. We have so many blocks, so much gold, so many tools. We kind of completed the game, but we keep playing it. Why do we do it? <laughs> I don't know. But we love building stuff. That's really the truth, right? Okay. I want to be egg. I don't know why. Oi. Oi. <laughs> You're interrupting my video. Okay. Anyway, if you've played this game that much, there are a few problems. And I think build a boat for the build a boat for treasure makers like Chill Thrill and I don't, honestly I'm not sure who else is still working on the game right now. They need to change some of these things uh, just to make it a more fun experience for people who've been playing this game for a long time. Uh, number one is just the build area. I know I've said this before, but until it changes, I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm gonna keep saying it. Okay. <laughs> The build area right now is very tiny. It's not tiny if you're new to the game. It's not tiny at all if you're new to the game. It's not even that small if you're like average player. But once you're at that point where you're making giant things, this just isn't enough space. So I've made a video in the past about build a boat for treasure should have like a private, not not pri obviously it already has private servers, but it should have private servers with creative mode in it. Something where you have like almost infinite building space or at least way bigger than this, you know, at least 10 times this big. Uh, where well, you could just build entire titanics, maybe entire cities, maybe the game should just give you infinite blocks in this creative mode server etc i think that would really help players who really play this long because let's be honest out of all the players that are like pro very few of them really care about the river anymore or go down the river it's really all about building giant things <laughs> we only go down the river to grind gold and yeah I've already talked about that the grind is just a problem in this game. So actually, I guess I'll talk about that a little bit more. The game, the gold needs to be not as much of an issue, I think. I think it's not motivating. Does the Shark Tannic have lifeboats? I don't know. Um, now you've taken me out of my train of thought, okay? What was I saying? <laughs> yes, the gold is a big grind. You just have to keep getting going to the end. And every time you only get 100, 200. Maximum is like 250 gold. You just keep grinding if you want the gold. Or spend Robux. But it's like crazy amounts. Like for 700 Robux, you only get 7,700. Honestly, I don't know if that's a great deal. But I also think they should just remove... Gold for Robux, unless if it's like very large amount of gold for le very little Robux. And make gold more accessible and create a different system because obviously the developers need money so they can keep making the game. So they need to have a way of earning Robux. But I think through gold they should make it cheaper. I don't know. Maybe you need to get more gold every time you make it to the end. Maybe it's like I said last time. Every time you make it to the end, you get plus 1% gold next time. Hey, the harpooning. This is what I talked about in another in my previous video as well. No, wait, two videos ago. 
Uh, these are issues that the game has. Wait, if I teleport him out of here, what happens? Oh wait, he, he joined my team. I forgot, he joined my team. Okay, this has now officially become a rambling video because I get distracted. But yeah, um, I have a lot of respect for the players who keep joining this game and they keep playing for hundreds of hours just to make one build. Here's an example. Want to see this? Check this out. Boom. Shout out to Triton. Triton has made Destoroya and a lot of other kaiju from uh, Godzilla the Godzilla universe. Look at how big this is. Okay, I think this one might fit in the building area. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, I see King Ghidorah, I think, here as well. That's definitely not going to fit. This is crazy. So, I think the makers of build a boat for treasure, they need to realize that these people are still out here creating giant builds and they need space. And if they're not gonna get space, they're gonna leave, they're gonna join a different building game and build their creations there. Stop talking to me, I'm recording your video. Um, yeah, I think if you if Build a Boat for Treasure, if Till and the Build a Boat for Treasure creators wanna keep their player base, they need to give space, they need to make the game more accessible. Why is my why am I stuck on shift lock? Why am I? I didn't. I don't even have shift lock on. Oh, there we go. That was weird. Why are you murdering me? Why are you murdering me? Help! Help! Help me! Help me! I'm being kidnapped. Help me! There. Ah. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to space. Anyway, yeah, this is like terrible video. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I just want to talk about the issues of Build a Boat for Treasure, but I'm getting trolled, which is actually, funnily enough, one of the issues of Build a Boat for Treasure that I've been talking about in my first video of this series. But yeah, the pro players, they just need more space to build. They need more easy access to a lot of blocks, right? Because right now, even if you grind all day and you make insane amounts of money, you, there are still a lot of blocks that you will not have because a lot of blocks are not in a shop i'm not sure which ones are more rare but let's take this one for instance the neon block the neon block i think it's never in a shop is it is a neon block ever in a shop so most people just pretty much have zero neon blocks even though it's so cool to put in all your builds especially i think if you have nighttime on it looks cool right it looks all right. You need better. I need better color, like white. How did I used to make it so that it was like outlined? There we go. So it's white, but with a yellow outline. Okay. Anyway, people are just not given the freedom in this game to build as much as they want. And I think that's a problem. I think there should be more fun systems to work towards just to keep people playing. And maybe I also think that there should also be a reward system for time. Uh, now, when I'm talking about a reward system for time, I'm talking about something like daily login, hourly playtime reward. You might think about older games that have like a daily login bonus. There are games that, like, P Pet Simulator has, like, this thing where if you play for five minutes, you get a small reward. If you play ten minutes, you get a small reward. If you play half an hour, you get a bigger reward. If you play two hours, you get a very big reward, etc. This is actually a good game. This is uh, a good way to keep players in your game. It's basically a win-win for everyone. So I don't know why not every game has this. Basically, the makers get everyone to keep playing their game. The players get rewarded for their time because let's be honest, time is like the most valuable thing, right? You know what they say, time is the most valuable thing that you can have. So if people spend it on your game, that's like amazing. Like whenever people watch my videos like you right now, I'm like, whoa, that's crazy because time it's like the most valuable thing. You're running out of time. Everyone's always running out of time. You're always busy, right? And somehow, even though there's like a million... Actually, a million is a very small number. There's 
a hundred billion videos on the internet you're watching this one right now that's amazing and i think if you're a game maker you need to feel the same and create some kind of system like the more people play the more they get even if they're not always making it to the end because i feel like making it to the end is for new players and medium players but once you're a top tier player you're an end let's call it an end game player Going to the end is no longer really what people are doing non-stop. Personally, I love it. I love going to the end. I do it all the time. But most people I know, you know... Oh, sorry, I closed that screen. Most people I know, like Triton, who's making this. Do you think he built this so that he can go to the end and get treasure? Is this a boat that was built for treasure? <laughs> it's not, is it? It's not. <laughs> It's not, is it? It's not. I don't know why I'm talking like this. It's not made to go to the end. And I think build a boat for treasure needs to be more realistic about this and create the game for people like this and around people like this. What are you doing? What's going on with this guy? Okay, I'm gonna end this video. Oh, he's gone. All right. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching again. I've got at least two more of these videos where I want to talk about the problems for build a boat for treasure. And I hope the developers will watch them so they can change the game and i think the game would genuinely get so many more people to play and the people who are already playing would have way more fun if these things were changed so in this video less grindy gold um, easier access to blocks more building space and some kind of rewarding people for their time spent in the game i think it would really improve the game let me know if you agree in the comments or during one of my twitch streams twitch.tv slash buildosaurus um let me know in my discord or anywhere else and thank you green thunder and carl for sponsoring this video bye friends don't forget stomp like a dancer stomp 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 stomp